I wish we could get the chief rabbi to say this for us. Listen, Judaism has always been unitary in its monotheism. They believed in one single Yahweh who alone was God by himself, no one else beside me, every possible form of language, I think, to tell you that there are not two or three. Judaism was never Trinitarian. Philo was not a Trinitarian. Now, he did have some waffly philosophical stuff to say, but he never ever believed in the Trinity. So Philo's not going to help you. Josephus is not going to help you. No, Jesus' creed in Mark 12, 29, fix on that. The Lord our God, this is what the Greek says there. The Lord our God is one Lord. That's not so hard. One Lord is one Lord, not two. So these arguments about complex unity and compound unity are obfuscating. They're muddling and confusing, causing Jewish people to be offended, and rightly, and they're causing Muslims to be offended, likewise. Right. So we got a follow up. So Mm. why are so many Christian denominations so sure that Jesus is God when it's not heavily supported in the Bible? I think it's the blinding effect of groupthink. Once you join a group that has written in stone in lots of church councils that God is Jesus, God is the Father, and God is the Holy Spirit, this becomes part of your agreed testimony, and it's very difficult to change it. There is a text where Jesus said, in vain you worship, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, he said, and you refuse to do the things that I say? So Jesus then understood that we can fall into a massive group think situation, a blinding effect. If your family believes it, if your parents have always believed it, if the church has always believed it, but there have been noble objectors to the Trinitarian idea. I mean, let's just toss off three. Sir Isaac Newton spent actually most of his energy on trying to defeat the idea of a Trinity. So did John Milton the poet in Britain, he was incensed against the Trinitarian idea. John Locke, L-O-C-K-E, was another one. These people were the brightest, most brilliant brains of their century, in fact, and they were strong anti-Trinitarians. So I know it's difficult. I understand your point. But the issue is, what does the Shema, the hero Israel, say? And those words come from Jesus. And a scribe, a friendly Jewish scribe, asked him, now tell me, what is the superlatively great commandment? Rabbis love to to list and, and think about commandments in terms of priority. Well, this is the one you mustn't get wrong in Mark 12, 29, when Jesus had quoted the Shema. And if you're following Jesus, you think you might want to follow that same Shema. Might be a great idea. Then the friendly Jew said, well done, master, you got it right. There's only one God and there's no other God except him. How many persons is him? One person. There's no other God except he, or there's no one else except he. It comes to the same thing, but he is not he three. So one of the professors of theology writing books on the Trinity currently says, think about that. With his PhDs, he writes full, at full length on the Trinity, and he says, you may have to break the laws of language and say, of God, they is one, and he are three. I recommend you don't go there. Who said you have to break the laws of simple grammar to define God? I think that's really to talk nonsense, and talking nonsense is not good for your brain or your health, so don't do it. There's an interesting back and forth in John 8, where Jesus once again is going at it with his fellow rabbis. You know, they're saying uh, we are the descendants of Abraham, right? So they put a lot of stock on that, obviously. Mm. Um, And Jesus says, well, guess what? If you were his children, then you Mm. would accept me. In other words, (laughs) you would know that I am the Messiah. Yes, exactly. And then he says, you are doing the works of your own father, intimating, yeah, Satan, Jesus. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then they say, we are not illegitimate children. The only father we have is God himself. Yep. Jesus says, if God were your father, Mm -hmm. you would love me because I came from the father, God. So it sounds like the God of the Jews Hmm. is one person that is the father. It does. And Jesus doesn't say, oh, well, actually, guys, you know, it's father, son, Holy Spirit. No. That's an interesting exchange there. 